Hi folks. So, uh, I'm kind of in the process of moving right now. And as tends to happen when you're doing that, uh, you realize that, uh, you know, you need a, uh, power strip or an extension cord or something. So you go to your uh, local big box convenience store, uh, because it's like 10 o'clock at night and nothing else is open. And, uh, while you're there going through the home improvement aisle, trying to find the, uh, electrical cord that you need or whatever, uh, you come across their display of padlocks and you think, oh, you know what? I think I need a couple of padlocks to lock up this or that. Uh, and oh, hey, here's one that's just five dollars. Uh, so this is actually uh, revisiting the exact same brand and model of uh, cheap laminated uh, padlock that I had uh, reviewed in a couple of my earliest videos. And, uh, I thought, you know what, it's been a number of years and, uh, I still like to use these as teaching tools, uh, because they are <laughs> kind of junk, but, um, you know, let's see if anything has, uh, really changed in the time that I've been running this video. So this is the same, uh, model and brand of padlock that I had uh, reviewed in like videos number two and three, I think. Uh, so you can see it's distributed by Rite Aid, and so they've put their label on it, but it's just made somewhere in China. Uh, and pretty much every grocery chain and convenience store and big pharmacy chain sells the exact same lock, just in uh, just with a different uh, card on it. So first off, uh, bidding actually somewhat more impressive than you usually see on these. But uh, first let's see if they've improved the pick resistance at all. So it's uh, thinner Peterson pry bar, standard Peterson short hook. And we're going to start from the front, feeling around, not really getting much of anything bit of resistance from three and the click, resistance on four, and a click, two, and we're open. So no, they have not, in fact, improved the pick resistance. Lock that back up. Let's see if uh, they have finally fixed that knife bypass. We're going to just work this in under the pins, stick it in the back real hard, wiggle it around. Is that going to work? No. Are we doing this upside down? Yes, we were. So we work our way back there and try to feel around for that actuator. And it keeps feeling like we're getting it, but don't seem to be able to grab it and get it to move. So I guess that's a good sign. Uh, and usually these things will, if they're going to pop, just pop really easily. And that's just not going. Let's see. If we can see what's going on here, because it's possible that, uh, so we have cutouts for two actuators. I can't really see down here if there's one on that side, but there's a cutout for it. And these companies, uh, don't usually do any more machining than is necessary, but there is an actuator right here. So let's. Work our knife tool down the keyway there. And let's see if it's actually. Oh, yeah. So we definitely got that in, and we have retracted the shackle. You can see it moving there. Let's see. Yeah, so they have, oh, yeah, 
so it just needs a bit of encouragement. That's all. So no, they haven't really fixed that. Uh, but then again, what do you expect for under five dollars uh, from a store brand lock? Uh, well, thank you all for sticking with me uh, after all this time, and uh, until next time, have fun and happy picking.